Hello and welcome to episode 220. Uh, for this video I've come back down my old local membership lake, Aspen Lake, on the Cotswold Water Park. As you can see by all my gear down here, not fishing yet, I've literally just rocked up. I've uh, just finished work, come straight down here, so it is kind of like early evening time now. So anyway, I'm going to get cracking because uh, there's probably only about two and a half hours of daylight left. And as you can probably tell by this lot, it's going to take me a while to get sorted yet. So anyway, I'm just going to crack on. Don't know when I'm going to get back to you guys because uh, obviously I've got all this kit to sort out and get fishing yet. So I'll get back to you probably this evening I expect and then I'll tell you a bit more about where I'm fishing swim wise that is right till then let's go fishing Alright guys, that is it. The three rods are out. That is all I've got out at the moment, because if you could see behind the camera you'd see what a bomb site my swim looks like. But um yeah, so all three rods are out. First rod, right hand rod. <laughs> if you could see what I could see now behind the camera guys. <laughs> Come here and do that. Oh look, it's my mate Darren. That's what he was doing behind the camera guys, trying to put me off. <laughs> anyway, right hand rod, as we've seen, dropped off by the lilies. Lilies is always a carpy spot to fish. And if the swim was on the island, you'd have a rod down there all day long, wouldn't you? Of course you would. So that's where the right hand rod is. Second rod, middle rod. I've got a nice big rock on the uh, water line of the, of the island as a nice marker. And if I do have to cast there again tonight, or bait boat rather, there's also a nice little dip in the trees that lines up with that rock for the middle rod. Left hand rod, also up against the island. Uh, in line with a uh, another gap in the trees. Again, I've dropped it about four foot off the island. You saw that one. This swim, it's kind of got the island kind of comes out on a bit of a point. So uh, the left hand side of that, you've got like the grass bank side of the lake. The wind is kind of blowing down this way. So if there are any fish up there, the reason for picking this swim, it, the fish would come down around that point and I suppose, you know, them two rigs would intercept any fish coming around that kind of peninsula or that island. So that's my thinking for putting two rods out there. As you see, using the bait boat and uh, just done a mixture of uh, crushed boily pellet and a bit of hemp I've dropped into that bait as well. All the geese seem to be taken off the island. I don't know if Bob started up a goose sanctuary lately but there seems to be 
Right, this place has just been inundated with geese since I was last here. Right, anyway guys, so that's it. We are fishing. Rods are out. Uh, right, just got everything to uh, sort out behind the camera now. If we catch any fish, we'll have a look at rigs and bait later on in the video. But for now, I reckon I'm going to lose the light in about half hour. And you want to see this bomb site here. <laughs> right. Unless anything happens in the night, guys, I won't do any more filming tonight. So, uh, hopefully we'll see you in the night. But if I don't, I'll see you in the morning. Right, guys. First fish of my session. Good old Terry Tench. Right hand rod down from that lily patch just to my right hand side. If I was going to catch a tench I'd rather have been on one of the other two rods because uh, using the bait boat I could get really close to that lily pad. There's no way I'm going to get close to the lily pad putting the rod back out in the, in the pitch black. So uh, I'm just going to have to pub chuck it, sort of, somewhere near. But, it's quite a distinctive tench this one. Uh, it's got a bit of a, just behind its fin there. I don't know if you can really see in this light. But it's got a bit of a, sort of looks like a bit of a wedge. I uh, don't know if you can see that guys, but if I try and lift up the fin with me thumb. It's got a bit of a, sort of a dip in its back just there where my thumb is uh, looks like once upon a time he was attacked and had a bit of a chunk taken out of his back but right so if you count tench it's not a blank but yeah I'd rather have been on one of the other rods so that, that rod could have carried on fishing close to the uh, lily pad but you know tench do like the lily so hey ho right let's get her back so I can get the rod back out there somewhere good morning guys and obviously after that tench nothing else happened last night uh, well, I say nothing else happened. Had a, had a few bleats on left and middle rods. Kind of a few little liners just to let me know the fish are at least passing through if not stopping. But um, yeah, I'll be winding the rods in very, very shortly. In fact, after I finish talking to you, because Mother Nature is calling to a. Uh, for me to make go uh, and make my deposit. So, uh, yeah, nice warm day, nice little blustery breeze blowing, keeping things nice and cool in this morning sun. And guys, uh, call of nature done. And then also while my rods are wound in, I just went and had a bit of a walk around the lake just to chat to all the other anglers that's on at the moment. Just to see if anyone else was uh, catching fish. And at the moment, they're not. From uh, what I can gather after chatting to everyone, that tench I caught was the only fish to come out last night. So, uh, so I suppose at least I'm doing something right compared to everyone else. But anyway, I've been up for a walk around the lake. Had a look up around the beach swim as well while I was uh, um, up there. There's no one fishing up there, but um, there's a bit of work starting to go on up that end of the lake now, ready to create some new swims. Uh, Bob was saying eventually the beach swim where I've fished quite a few times 
eventually that's, that swim is going to be like shut down as a swim and then down that kind of left bank what was the tree line it's all it's all being cut back at the moment it's only just started the embankment around the back has been flattened down the trees are being cut sort of cut down and thinned down and eventually when uh, that part of the lake has had its shallowing up work done there's going to be swims all along that um that bank well i say all along i think bob said there's going to be three swims along that back bank so uh so i just thought i'd have a look up there and have a mooch sort of the work that's going on up there but anyway now i'm back in my swim i just need to get some more boat mix prepared so i'm using the old uh, seafood still so uh, this is the uh, four mil pellets. Just gonna whack them all in there. What have we got here? The seafood. Eight mil pellets. And then the seafood. Six mil pellets. So just a nice little variety of sizes obviously each size will give a different breakdown weight obviously the smaller pellets giving off the attraction quicker and then the bigger pellets lasting a bit longer to prolong that attraction in your swim then what I'll do I'll just put a I don't know half a scoop which probably equates to about a handful in the bait boat with a handful of boilies as well. Right, let's crack it up. Rigs as well, just fishing. Good old Ronnie rigs. 12 mil seafood pop-ups. They're fishing on lead clip systems, or sat on top of me bivy at the moment. So, right, let's get the boat out the bag and get fishing again. guys that is the rods all done I only showed you two rods going out because we don't need to see every rod going out every time but you know the two areas where I'm fishing that's where we've seen them go out to had a bit of a disaster with a third rod so it's a good job I wasn't filming but uh, somehow about halfway out the leader got entangled in the uh, propeller so somehow it got sucked through the weed guard and um, wrapped around the propeller so that obviously stopped dead in its track so I had to pick the rod up and wind the boat in and uh, yeah so uh, bit of a small disaster I had to take the weed guard off and then detangle all the leader and line it got wrapped around the prop shaft and put a new leader on and <laughs> anyway, that's sorted. The rod is out now. Uh, oh, just 
time to chill now for a little while, I think. Hello. Hi, guys. Uh, what I'm just doing at the moment, probably see the rods lent up against the bivvy here. And that is because in a few moments I'm going to be going up the chip shop for me uh, for me Saturday night tea. So before I go I'm just uh, obviously wound the rods in and then uh, I'm just getting them rebated with fresh hook baits so that as soon as, I, well not as soon as I've got back, as soon as I've had me fish and chips the, uh, the rods will be ready to go out so that's two done so uh, just got to wind the third rod in and then off to the chippy we go just spoke to Darren as well Darren's been tied up in work so uh, he's had a job on that lasted longer than what was planned so unfortunately he won't be joining me tonight as he hoped to oh excuse me so uh, yeah so it looks like I'm just going to be Billy no mates this weekend like I am most weekends to be fair <laughs> right Get this last rod in, get the rig baited up, then that will save me some time later on getting the rods back out, especially now we're starting to uh, lose the light a lot earlier in the evenings now this time of year. So if I can get everything ready to go when I get back, all the better. Right. I'll catch you guys later on when I've got a fish. That'd be my cod. <laughs> got a fish. <laughs> yeah, I know I've done that joke a hundred times before, but still funny to me. Hey guys, so. As you can probably tell, the rods aren't out yet. I've literally just finished me fish and chips. So, uh, just thought I'd sit here and have a quick mooch at the water to see if I can see any signs of life out there. I can't. But that's not unusual for this place though, guys. Um, the fish very, very rarely ever show themselves here. I don't know why, it's just, it's, the fish are just known for it here for not showing themselves, so, um, right, so when the rods go back out shortly, I think the plan is, I'm going to stick with the same spots, but, uh, I think I'll just bait up the boat with just the, the pellet and hemp. Obviously the boat's gone out a few times now for, for each rod and boilies have been going in in the boat on each occasion. So because they're quite large food items and I've had no fish, the, the potential is that all them boilies are probably still sat there. Uh, hemp. Probably not, there's a lot of small fish in here, so I can say that hemp has been cleared up by the smaller fish. Pellets, well they break down obviously, so... Uh, so, when the rods go out this time, I'm not going to film them going out this time, but uh, just going to let you know my kind of plan of action. So, no boilies in the boat, just the pellet and hemp, just for the attraction side of it. But what I might do is put a, um, a load of boilies with the catapult so it kind of scatters the area 
where I'm fishing to kind of just entice fish into the general area where I'm fishing and then hopefully then the pellety attraction will then hone them in onto the actual spots where I'm fishing. So that's my thinking anyway. Whether it'll work or not, tonight will tell us. Right, let's crack on. Obviously, we've already seen the rigs prepared, so it ain't going to take long to get the rods out now. Right, guys, that is it. All three rods are back out. As I said earlier, still fishing the same spots and baited up with just pellet and hemp this time. But, as I said, what I'm going to do is just kind of generally sort of scatter the area with boilies just to kind of bring if there's no fish in my area I want them to kind of smell these boilies and uh, just kind of move into the area and then then like I said hopefully home in, in onto my actual fishing spot so So I'll do a pouch each roughly where I'm fishing and then and then I'll do a few just kind of aimed high in the air so that I get a good scatter. They're on it straight away. <laughs> All right, that's All right. That would do for that. And then let's do a handful of the right hand rods in throne range. There we go. Right guys, and that is it. That is rods out, baiting done. And we are fishing. So, probably won't touch the rods anymore. Now until tomorrow. And if the force of nature doesn't force me to wind in in the morning, I'll probably leave the rods out until the end of the session now, so... Right. Bit of that. Hopefully I have some luck tonight. Oh, good morning guys, and what a quiet night it was last night, I think the most action I had was me left hand rod, done a little, not long just after I got into bed that made me kind of jump back out of bed again, but that's about as hectic as it got last night, not even the tench pestered me last night, so... idea why the lake's so quiet. There's a married couple two swims to my left and the ladies just walked past and said they haven't had a, a touch in the night so but yeah so it's just got nine o'clock in the morning anyway guys I'm gonna stay right through to sort of probably five o'clock so still basically a day session's worth of fishing left ahead of me so uh, not gonna touch the rods don't, don't see the point if 
if nothing's really give me any bleep from the other two rods that would probably suggest that maybe no fish have been moving around the areas therefore not touch the bait so I know the pop-ups would be buoyant enough to stay pop-up all day and all night if I wanted to stay another night so don't have to worry about that side of things so yeah I'm just gonna leave the rods you know even though I'm using the bait boat you know which is minimal disturbance it still does you know minor disturbance especially now the water's probably a couple of foot down at the moment so the best thing is just leave the rods fishing not not disturb me areas and just hopefully in these last kind of eight hours or so the fish do move onto my spots right anyway breakfast time first and hopefully the fish come along and get their breakfast as well Bob's busy working away over the other side of the lake, ready for when all the work to the lake itself has been completed on that side and uh, at the moment he's uh, building up the new swims that's going to be on that side of the lake, ready for when we can fish that side. I always said right from the start when I'm fishing here, this lake's been a kind of a work in progress right from when I started fishing here. And uh, yeah, this is sort of the final phase now, getting the, the third side of the lake finished. Bob's just waiting on the contractors to kind of fill in, you know, finish shallowing up the far side of the lake. And then as we see, Bob's building the swims, ready for when the work has been completed. Oh, and Bob's goose sanctuary. <laughs> Just a, quite a big liner on my left hand rod. Bobbin's come up an inch or so. Good signs, at least the fish are letting me know they are in the area. Still got time for that bite yet, maybe. Right guys, so I'm practically at the end of my session now. As you can see, the rods are still out, but the rest of my kit is all is all packed up behind the camera. I've actually stayed a bit longer than I, I had planned to. It's kind of just gone five o'clock in the evening now. I had planned to be gone by five o'clock. Uh, I've been chatting to some people with. Uh, just coming on to fish for the week so um if you're watching this lads i hope you do well but um yeah been really quiet just been getting the odd bleep on the right hand rod that's sitting down by the lilies but uh yeah apart from that nothing really's been happening guys so um so from everyone who else has already left the lake, who's sort of gone by and I've been chatting to. Seems like no carp has come out at all this weekend, so perhaps the conditions just haven't been right for the carp to, to feed this weekend. 
who knows but yeah been quiet so unfortunately guys apart from that tench it's been a blank but uh you know you can't catch them if you're sat at home not trying Right, I'm going to be fishing next weekend guys, not entirely sure where yet, but um, I will be out somewhere. So, till then guys, tight lines. <laughs>